Representative of the Labour Party, Deputy Brandon Harlan. Uh, thank you, Laskin Cola. <coughs> Tishuk, we see in a recent survey that 97% of people in Ireland have access to a smartphone. As the government knows, many households are awaiting the delivery of high speed broadband internet access uh, to their homes. Access to the internet brings countless new opportunities, and it's no exaggeration to say that the internet is shaping society in a variety of new ways. Many people, especially young people, socialize via the internet. For many, sharing their lives online is completely normalized, even those, though these technologies didn't exist for the previous generation. But the internet also has a dark side. Young people are often in a phase of self-discovery at a time when they're involved in near continual online activity. We've seen repeated cases of older men using internet websites to fool young people into sending intimate photographs of themselves or even arranging meetings with frequent reports of sexual assault or even rape as a result. We also know that some people use the internet to hurt others. For example, taking revenge by pu putting up compromising photographs for the whole world to see. There is growing evidence of a strong link between cyberbullying, online harassment on young people, and in particular, those young people indulging in self-harm and even suicide. Ireland's teen suicide rate is already among the highest in Europe. Recent CSO figures show tragically that 20 to 30 young people die by suicide annually in Ireland. On the 16th of May of last year, Labour's harassment, harmful communication and related offences bill passed second stage in this House. The Government, in a very cross-party supportive debate on that bill, pledged full cooperation to bring legislation through this House to regulate the area of online harassment and bullying. Since May of last year, dozens more young people have lost their lives through suicide tragically. Too often, those young people were the victims of online bullying and harassment, and many more are suffering still today. This legislation is urgently required. In addition, uh, Taoiseach, we would happily accept any amendment from the government side because we couldn't, as an opposition party, for example, table a proposal to establish a digital safety commissioner, which I believe everybody now supports. It is possible to have these fundamental issues addressed in the coming weeks. We've waited too long, so my question is a simple one, Taoiseach. Will the government facilitate the early enactment of this much-needed law? Taoiseach has three minutes. Thanks. Uh, I want to um, uh, thank the Deputy for, for raising the important issues that he does raise in relation to uh, mental health for young people, for teenagers, for adolescents, uh, and also, um, also the impact that uh, the internet uh, and online bullying uh, and exposure to uh, nefarious things online can have on the mental health of young people. Uh, we are very much in the process now of implementing our Connecting for Life uh, national suicide strategy, uh, one that I was involved in putting together with uh, former Minister Kathleen Lynch, um, one which I think is making a real difference. Um, we see, I know it's hard to calculate these things, but we've seen a, about a 30% reduction in suicide rates overall in Ireland. Uh, in the last couple of years, and uh, I think in part that is down to uh, the additional resources given to the National Office for Suicide Prevention uh, and also additional investment in mental health, but there are, of course, many other factors at play than, uh, than, uh, than those. Um, I, I don't know what the current status is of the particular legislation that the Deputy uh, mentions. Um, I don't think we have any principled objection to it, so I'll have to check up on that. I think we indicated in the past that we would support it, uh, so I'll have to just... Um, Check that out again and perhaps get back to the deputy to see if we can progress it. Thank you, Deputy. I can, I, I can tell um, the Taoiseach that uh, the Minister for Justice has been very supportive of this measure, uh, and I've also spoken to the Attorney General directly uh, on this matter. But it has taken a very long time since second stage was passed, a year and a half ago, and there is a real urgency about regulating a sphere of activity that didn't exist ten years ago. 
Our law still references um, telephones and telecommunications, but nothing in relation to protecting people using the internet, which is so much more intrusive in everybody's life today. So in relation to this one bespoke piece of legislation, to establish a digital safety commissioner, to protect vulnerable people of all ages, but particularly vulnerable young people, can I ask the Taoiseach to give his government's commitment, if it is possible, to have this bill at least passed in this House before the end of this session? My Taoiseach, one minute. Thanks very much. Um, the, the Minister of Justice informs me that his department is, is in regular contact with your office uh, about the bill uh, with the view to moving matters on. Uh, we certainly want to do that uh, as quickly as we possible, possibly can. Uh, I think when it comes to the internet and the World Wide Web, uh, what I can say is that the uh, era, era of self-regulation is over. Uh, self-regulation hasn't worked uh, for the internet uh, and for the tech sector, and we need to, now to do more. Uh, we just need to make sure that whatever regulatory moves we make, whatever we put into place, uh, actually works and is actually effective. And we're very happy to work uh, on a cross-party basis, um, working with Deputy Hall and others to make that possible.